Have you ever struggled with a slow Wi-Fi connection and wanted to tweak your router settings but didn't know where to start? Or maybe you've heard of 192.168.1 and wondered, what is it and how do I use it? Stick around, because we're breaking it all down in this simple step-by-step -step guide to accessing your router settings and taking control of your Wi-Fi. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 5. Understanding your default gateway. The first step to accessing your router settings is understanding what the IP address 192.168.1.1 actually means. Think of it as the unique key or home address of your router which serves as the gateway connecting everything in your Wi-Fi network. This address allows you to access and configure your router's features, such as updating security settings or optimizing network performance. Most home routers use this as their default gateway, but keep in mind, not all routers are the same. Some might use slightly different IP addresses, like 192.168.0.1 or even 10.0.0.1. To confirm your default gateway, simply open your command prompt or terminal on a Mac, type ipconfig, and hit enter. Look for the default gateway address listed, and you're all set to proceed. This process is simple and ensures you're starting on the right track. If you're stuck, refer to your router to manual for guidance. Number 4. Logging into the admin panel. Once you have your default gateway IP address, open your web browser. In the address bar, where you typically type a website URL, enter the gateway IP address. This will lead you to the login page for your routers. Here's where you'll need the admin username and password to proceed. Most routers have default credentials like admin for both fields, but if those don't work, check the label on your router or consult the user manual. If you've previously changed the password and forgotten it, don't panic. There's a way to reset it, which we'll discuss later. Logging in grants you access to your router's dashboard, a control panel filled with tools to manage your network. From there, you can make adjustments to improve performance and boost security. If this is your first time logging in, take a quick look around to familiarize yourself with the settings. If you are interested to see more tricks and tips, check this video in the corner. Number 3. Updating your Wi-Fi password. One of the first things you should do after logging in is check your Wi-Fi password. Why is this so important? A strong password protects your network from unauthorized users and ensures your connection remains secure. In your router dashboard, look for a menu option like wireless settings or Wi-Fi settings. Within this section, you'll find a field labeled password or passphrase. Update this with a strong unique password that's at least 12 characters long. Include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols to make it harder to guess. Avoid predictable options like 12345 password or Wi-Fi 123. Once you've updated your password, remember to reconnect all your devices to the network using the new credentials. This step is essential for keeping your network safe from potential intrusions. Pro tip. Write down your new password, or save it in a secure password manager, so you don't forget it later. Number 2. Maximizing network speed. Slow internet is frustrating, but luckily, your router settings can help optimize your connection. Start by accessing the Quality of Service Core settings in the dashboard. This feature lets you prioritize bandwidth for specific activities like video calls, online gaming or streaming, ensuring these run smoothly even when multiple devices are connected. Next, check your router's channel settings. Most routers operate on the same default channel, which can lead to interference from nearby networks. Switching to a less crowded channel in the wireless settings menu can significantly improve speed and stability. For even higher performance, activate the dual band mode if your router supports it. This allows you to use both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, balancing the load and reducing congestion. If you're in a large home, consider adding a Wi-Fi extender or mesh system to eliminate dead zones and strengthen coverage. With just a few tweaks, you'll notice a big difference in your network's performance. Number 1. Resetting your routers when things go wrong. If you're having trouble accessing your routers or experiencing ongoing issues with your network, resetting your routers can be a lifesaver. Locate the reset button on the back of the device. It's usually a small recessed button. 
use a pin or paper clip to press and hold it for about 10 to 30 seconds until the router restarts. A successful reset will restore your router to its factory default settings, including the admin login credentials. You'll find these default credentials printed on a label on the router. After resetting, follow the earlier steps to log in, update the admin password and reconfigure your Wi-Fi settings. Don't forget to set a strong Wi-Fi password for added security. This process can solve many common issues and get your network back up and running. If troubleshooting doesn't help, contact your router's support team for further assistance. There you have it folks, five simple steps to access your router settings and improve your home network experience. Whether it's tweaking your settings or boosting speed, mastering 192.168.1.1 is easier than you think. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Got questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.